subbies, visitors, YouTubers. So today, as you can see, my hair is just, yeah, it's about that time. Um, anybody who follows my channel knows that I only wash my hair like every two, two and a half months. And the only time if I wash it before then is because I need to get some product out. So I'm going to take you through what I normally do when I am getting my um, hair regimen together. And I'll start off first by telling you the products that I use and we'll go from there. So, um, of course, a comb. You don't really need a comb, but every now and then I use a comb. Um, I use the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. Of course, water. Um, this is my concoction of, yeah, <laughs> but it works really good for my hair. Um, for my conditioner, I use the Your Curly Keone conditioner. I um, also use some um, claps. Um, if I need to tie my hair down, a hair tie. On the shampoo, I use the Shea Moisture Cream Moisturizing Shampoo. And I use the Unjackies Not On My Watch to detangle as well as a handy dandy cap to let my hair sit for a second. So I'm going to go wash my hair first using the Shea Moisture Cream Shampoo and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I am done. Oh, hold on. There's something else going right now. Okay. Yeah, so I'm done washing and you can see my hair looking crazy, deranged. All right, so part one is wash and I use my Cantu cream, moisturizing cream shampoo. Um, I did a review on this like a, maybe two years ago. Yeah, that's how long I've been using it. And I'll link that in the description box below. So now section two, I mean section two, part two is where I will add my conditioner. So I'm going to condition my hair, which I'll just show you what I do. Um, I'll just take enough of it, this product, I've also did a, um, there you go, a review of this like a year or two ago as well. And I'll also link that review in the description box below. So, um, yeah, I suggest that you check out the um, review videos because some of these products have some pros and cons that if you're not cool with, you might want to check that video out first. So I'm going to put a little more in my hair and then just massage my scalp. Make sure it gets all up in cheer. Mm. Oh, shout out to Alverno College. Hey, proud alumna. That's why I went for undergrad in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Shout out to Milwaukee. It's my second home. Okay, anywho. So, now I've conditioned my hair. I swear you don't know the struggle until you've had that 4C hair. <sighs> Shrinkage is the devil. Look at this. I got these little knots. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you don't have that 4C hair, you don't understand the struggles we go through. All right, so I'm going to take my trusty dusty cap. Chill for about a good 10, 15 minutes. And I'll be back while I'm letting that bake in my hair. All right, I'll okay, back. I'm back from washing the Your Curly Keone conditioner out of my hair. Um, so now the next step is to detangle so basically what i do is i um take my comb go down a small section like the line doesn't have to be perfect i'm just doing this just to do it and then and be careful when you're separating your hair so yeah all right so we have this section right here And I'm going to take another clamp, tie that down, and whew, water running down my face, and just put a hair tie over at the back. All right, so let me close the door so you can get a better clear look. Okay, so I got this section right here. What I like to do first is take the concoction I was telling you about. If you want to know what this concoction is, just... <laughs> Write down below and let me know and I will happily tell you what's in here. I could do a separate video, but this is like my go-to um, concoction. So, I spray it in my hair. Eh, it's coming down. Twirl those ends. 
to massage that scalp for a good 20 seconds, not long at all. And put a little bit more on my edges. Because I don't want people to think that your edges should not be given um, attention. All right. So, look at that. That don't even make sense. I hate when my hair does that. It's rather random. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. You probably can't see that, but look at this. It's all knotted up. That's what I hate about my 4C hair. So, mostly all of that is going to just be coming out. <sighs> see? This is why it's so hard to grow 4C hair because of dumb shit like that. You know, I just get frustrated with my hair at times. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with my Unjackie's Not On My Watch, which is a detangler and a conditioner. I did a review on this as well a few years ago. So I'm going to take some, rub my hands together. And that's one thing I like about the Not On My Watch. You don't need much. It has excellent slip. So I just put that on my hair. And then, look at this, some more hair. Ugh. So after I let the knot on my watch just saturate my hair for a little bit, I just go through and detangle on my own. Then I get my trusty dusty camera, I mean camera, um, comb and go through the ends. So, <sighs> so I'll show you at the end of me combing this out how much hair came out and as you can see the comb is going straight through with little to no problems and that's all I do for each section when I'm trying to detangle okay so this is how much hair came out from combing that one section which I'm not happy about and then I'll get the other pieces to show you as well so this is how much hair came out and that's not good at all oops the hair is disappointed too. It doesn't even want to be in my hand. So, but after I'm done with that section, all I do is twist it up into a two-strand twist. And then I'm going to complete this on all of my hair. And when I'm done, I will come back and show you what it looks like. All right, I'll be right back. I'm back. So as you can see, um, I finished detangling and the back one, it's just, it's in the same twist, but then I just put it up top with a pin because it's bigger than the rest of them and it's harder to keep it together. So the next step now is I'm going to take these down and style my hair because I plan on wearing my hair in like a fro hop tomorrow. So I'm going to just, oh, first I'm going to show you the hair that, um, the hair that came out and I'm really not happy about it so this is the total hair that came out and yeah I mean some people might be saying that's not a lot of hair considering I did it over two a two um, month period so that's the amount of hair that's came out in two months because I only wash and detangle every two months I don't do all that other stuff but this is basically what I do at this point. I take it down because it's already detangled. It's nice and soft from going through that whole process that I went through. And now I just need to make sure my hair goes in the direction that I need it to. So it'll look nice for the fro hawk. So basically, um, I'm going to take um, this front part and probably part it. Now, the part is going to be off, so I'm sure it's off, but this is about as wide as I want it. And so I'm just going to start flat twisting my hair. Um, and with that, I'm going to use my styler, which is going to be the Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Deep Treatment Mask. Um, I love Cantu products. They work pretty good with my hair. And it smells really good. I love this. It reminds me of the coconut curling cream, which I don't have any more of, and I'm too lazy to go buy some. So this is like second, um, second string. So if I don't have that, this is what I'll use. So I'm going to do a nice size. And I have thin hair, so I'm a naturalista with thin hair. And I'm not going to take that much product. Just enough. I really don't even need any more, but I like putting in enough just to make sure I get some extra definition or some extra support if my hair needs that extra oomph 
I know you're probably looking at me like, why is she flat twisted like that? That's just how I do it. I don't know. I've always flat twisted like this. It looks weird. Everybody tells me that. But trust me, it comes out the same. So. I'm going to have this like this. And then I'm going to take the bottom part and just twirl it around my finger just so that it curls so i'm going to come back after i do the rest of my hair i'm going to keep this going frontward the middle will probably go backwards and then i just have cornrows on the side so i'll be right so back. you can see that i braided everything up i have some going in the front some on the side some going down the back and then the other side so the last step is I'm going to take some um, rollers, um, add a little bit more product to the end of my fingers, and just go to the ends, straighten them out, and circle them around, and roll it up. Not all the way, just low enough. If I can get this on, like I said, I'm struggling with that. I'm gonna do the same over here. Just make sure you slam that flat. Make sure it's flat. And I'm going to do that for the same for these three. I'm just too lazy to do them one by one. Look like I missed one. All right, so that's how it should look. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is take my salon dryer by Layla Ali, and I'm going to sit under this for about a good 30 minutes because I know it's so late in the night. My hair is not going to be dry by 6 a.m. in the morning. So, um, basically I've just come back in the morning, show you what my hair looks like, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for sticking it out with me and enjoy the pics. See you next time.